everyone, my name is Blissful Melissa and today I'm going to be sharing with you some fun things I've picked up at HomeGoods, Petco, and Bath & Body Works of course, which is my all time favorite. So we are going to start with Bath & Body Works. Also, happy September. Such an exciting time. Oh, can't wait for all things fall to kick into gear. Like when I went to Bath & Body Works and they had a ton of their fall candles out, I went crazy and I picked some up. As you can see, this is my lovely candle holder that don't have enough room for all of my candles and I just bought some more to add to the mix so let's jump in. Of course we had to get some wallflowers so since I also have my bathroom in here and then the guest bathroom in the lounge slash office slash Mitchell's old bedroom um, I decided I need a lot so I got five different ones so I got apple weather which was a new scent I hadn't seen before so it's just it's like a mix of sweater weather and just like the heirloom apple. It smells amazing. So I got this one to try and then I also got Desert Wildflower. This was one that they had for like $2 or something. So maybe you got six. I don't know. So I got this one, which I'm super excited to try. It is more of a summery scent, but still smells really good. Then I got two in the stars because as some of you know it is my absolute favorite scent from Bath & Body Works. It has the bergamot in it which I love and also this beautiful pink color looks really nice. So I currently have this in the other bathroom. Uh, mine still has some sort of scent in it but when that runs out I might put this one in so then the whole upstairs smells like in the stars but See. Then I got apple cinnamon cider. So this is one I had never seen before. So I'm super excited to try. It smells like apple cider, honestly. And it gives you that like tangy fall crisp seen outside by a campfire drinking apple cider. Like it recreates that whole feeling in just a scent. So I'm super pumped about this. Then the last wallflower I picked up is the hot cocoa and cream because you can't go wrong with a Christmas scent, especially that one. Like you can kind of start creeping in around late fall, mid fall. So it's definitely gonna make an appearance. We also got some room sprays. Um, this one is a fresh balsam because I love fresh balsam. I am obsessed. This is my absolute favorite sentence. I think I have three candles of this in all different skins because I love it so much. And then I got sweet cinnamon pumpkin because that is also another fall favorite. I literally just karate chopped my camera off of its stand. So <laughs> don't mind me. In this big bag, we have three candles. So I got the perfect pumpkin, which is the sweet cinnamon pumpkin. Oh, this glare which is the sweet cinnamon pumpkin, but just in, there we go, just in the Halloween cat scent. So I'm super excited. It just smells so good. Like, honestly, I start burning this now. So now I have two Halloween candles. I got an Autumn Woods. So not like, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this scent, but I like how it's more neutral. It's not spicy. It's more like rainy autumn day. So, and also the skin was really cute with all the little wildlife on it. And also it's green. All my candles are like blue and orange for fall. So it's nice to have something to add to the mix. And yes, as I'm unloading these, I'm literally just putting them straight into my candle holder because I don't have any room for them. The last candle I got, I've never seen this before. It is called Wine Cellar and it's in this beautiful mauve container. And surprise, I've already burned it some. It's, oh, it's just so good. Like, I would burn this all year round. It's close to in the stars on, like, favorite scents of the whole year. Um, so it has mold apples, fresh fig, cedarwood, and essential oils. Honestly, I could swear that there's bergamot in this because it has that very, I don't know, just that uh, happiness, calming sound. Maybe it's just the apple because I love apples so much. So this candle... I've already burned it, fallen in love with it, 10 out of 10 would recommend. It is a white barn candle, but if you can get your hands on it, get your hands on it. And now we're going to move into Home Goods, which is another one of my favorite stores. Honestly, now that we're redoing Mitchell's room into more office -y, loungy space, it's like my best friend. I mean, so much stuff there. And so, obviously, I've gotten a lot of stuff that I can't show you just because it'd be 
boring but this here's a few things that I've gotten recently that I've been really enjoying and the most of it is dog related so enjoy except this one item so I don't know if I made a video showing when I got these I don't think so so uh, you really cannot see this so I have these little utensil holders to go in the bathroom so this is white and it's going to go in the spare bed bathroom and mine is a nice dark gray but they do match so they're little kitties and then it works because <clears throat> and it really works because the shower curtain in the spare bedroom or spare bathroom god bless it's not a bedroom anymore um but the shower curtain in the spare bathroom is black and white and gold with cats on it so this will look awesome in there i also got some pictures because walls are bare and I love decorating I didn't think I would really enjoy decorating because honestly like playing the sims I love playing the sims um, when it comes to like decorating their houses I hate decorating their houses I'm like oh why do we have to do this but when it comes to like that room and this room does have quite a few off but I've really been going with a theme kind of this does not fit in with the theme I just thought it was cute look so it has little bath of towns little I think this is Boston Terrier but these look like French Bulldogs and then a beagle so it says peace and namaste be present breathe relax go with the flow so it's kind of like yoga dogs which I thought was adorable um, but this blue color really doesn't match anything but we're still gonna handle the wall because it's super adorable so if you follow me on Instagram or you follow my dog slash cat on Instagram you know what my dog Tobias looks like well at home goods we found this picture that looks so much like him it's insane so it's just a little black Frenchie I saw this and I lost it so Toby was with us in the cart so we can compare and I was freaking out over this so I got this not sure where I'm gonna hang it but it looks just like my dog I'm like I just had a pet canva made of Toby and when I could have gotten a $15 one so it looks almost identical to him Oh well, adorable. I also got this cute Frenchie bag, so he's eating a piece of pizza. Um, I love my reusable bags. I have one here sitting next to me that has some gifts in it for a friend. I have one in my car, and now I have a pizza Frenchie one. Honestly, Home Goods reusable bags are such high quality for only being like what? They're like 99 cents. Yeah, literally 99 cents, and they're huge. So I feel like every time I go there for every season. I've kind of got one. I have a really springy one, and then the, this one's my summery one, and then I have another, I guess it's not, they're all kind of springy summery. I got that one from a friend though, but it's, they're all super cute, and honestly you can use them all year round because it's not screaming Christmas or Halloween. I got Toby another dog bed. So he only has two. My mom was like, why are you getting him another one? And I was like, he only has one. And it's his cuddler bed that I got when I first got him and it's in his crate so it's like his bedtime bed but this one look how big it is and it's gray with the polka dots and it is a Tommy Hilfiger bed um, I can't resist it at home goods but he needs a bigger bed to lounge on because I had gotten him a little round blue cat bed that we were using as place for our puppy training so I was like okay he needs something bigger and this he can utilize like when we got home he went on vacation with us fun fact um so when we got home from vacation he passed out in this bed so very big very cuddly I love it I got this cute <laughs> I got this cute basket to hold his toys um so it says do dog toy supply multi-purpose storage um, so I got this because his little basket he had, he just had way too many toys. So this one is in my room and we put like half of his toys in here and then with the little one we put it in the other room with the other half of his toys. So there's like a little toy basket in each of his rooms which I think is really nice and also this one is just a very nice quality and I think I could honestly put this on top of his crate and put other stuff in it other than toys but for right now it's for toys. I got him a little hippo. So this is a Nandog hippo. Um, I posted about on my story that he was in his Nandog car seat with his Nandog hippo. Um, but this is super soft. It also like screams. Ah! Which is super scary. Not gonna lie. 
Um, as you can tell, he chewed on it like all the way home. He loves those things so much. So I had to take it away from him so he wouldn't rip it apart from my, just for this video so you guys could see it. We've only been home for a day and he's been trying to destroy it. But very cute, very soft and cuddly. I love it a lot. We got little monkeys. So there's a three pack. So this is from Zippy Paws, which is a company I actually I absolutely adore for their pet toys, I guess. Um, so this is a refill actually for one of their burrow toys, but this is like the perfect size for his mouth. So we got him three little monkeys. They're only like three or four dollars, I think. Um, and so he's been running around with a little monkey because he honestly is a monkey. He is something else like going on vacation with him. Crazy. I also got these towels. They're technically Halloween towels, but they're just white with black cats on them. And I thought they would look really cute with this in the bathroom. So honestly, the spare bathroom is just turning into a cat themed bathroom and I'm okay with that. The last thing we did get at Home Goods was this little jacket for Toby. <laughs> so who knows if it'll actually fit when it come when it gets colder outside. Um, it is a medium, so he's like a small medium. He's transitioning more into the medium, so I hope it works. Um, I know it's kind of a girly pattern. He's not gonna care if he's cold. He'll be happy to wear this. So it has a little hood. Um, it's fuzzy just in the hood, and then it's just almost like a sweatshirt material. Um, and it velcros up, but it's just really cute and comfy. I figured, why not? And then we did get a few things at Petco. I can't show you one of the items. So it's a shirt. It's very dirty. That's why I can't show you. It's in the wash because we wore it out hiking. So it's like a little camping shirt. It had like a little pocket in it and it was white with like campfires and s'mores and adorable, honestly, super sweet. So um, <clears throat> I put him in that shirt when we went hiking. So when like we were going through the mud, it wouldn't get all over him. And it 100% was a lifesaver. At the bottom, like the belly part is so filthy. I'm like, that could have been his whole belly. And same when he would like scratch and stuff. It saved me having to give him, give him another bath. He already got one bath on vacation because he rolled in duck poop. And he was stinky. But um, we did just wash down his legs and it worked out great. Then we got on a sweatshirt. Because one day when we were out and about, it was rainy. It was freezing. It's like, my dog needs a sweatshirt. So I got him this yellow sweatshirt and it says, ready for the snacks. So it's a medium, so it's quite big on him, but I'm hoping it fits him into the fall season, just to wear it out and about, so it's just this nice mustardy yellow, which is my favorite, and he looked absolutely stunning in it. If you go to my Instagram, um, I post a picture of him in the car wearing his little hoodie. And then <laughs> I got him an elephant. He's already murdered the side of its face, but he has this dog. We called it Mr. Snuggles that we got from PetSmart for like $2, like this huge oversized stuffed animal. He destroyed its face after having it for like a month or so. And so we got like a replacement. I know this is like a baby dog, elephant, snuggly toy. He loves oversized stuffed animals though. So when he was like ripping his face apart, I was like, you know what man, you do you. But he does cuddle with it. He puts his little head on it and he just like, is really cute and it also has the crinkles which just drives him crazy so it's just something fun and then I got him a blanket so this is a cat blanket so it's not like he he has two blankets that are cat blankets from Petco that are like fleece on one side and then really soft like Sherpa on the inside but I got this one um, so it's just white and then with the gray and white polka dots. So I got this for when we go shopping to keep in my diaper bag. So if I put him in a cart to lay this down or if we go to a restaurant to have him have like a little area because I found that some carts his feet fall through like his toes and his nails get caught. So by putting this down it just eliminates that so he has some place he can lay down comfortably and it's super soft but it's still really thin and light and he's not going to get overheated laying on it. And of course, I had to get George something while we were gone on vacation. So I got him these little Halloween toys. Um, so I have to wait. So it's called a Halloween haul. So there's four toys in it. So there's like a little sugar skull, a ghost, a bat, and a little spider wearing plaid. Um, so these were super cute. I won't be surprised if Toby picks up some of these because they are the perfect size for his mouth. 
Um, he loves little toys. Yeah, how come he goes for things like this and then these? There's no in between. Like, we have toys like this size, which he'll like chew and gnaw on, but when it comes to carrying around toys, he like drags this thing around. Dog logic. I don't get it. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this little haul video of just some random things I've picked up here and there. Um, I realized I haven't done a haul in a really long time, and trust me, there have been quite a few outings. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to ding the bell if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you guys very soon. Bye!